I'm Laura van Kampen. I'm working as a head of sector in trade defense instruments. Hey. How are you? You relaxed? No. He's with a little bit excessive. So my name is uh, Wolfgang Müller. I am. Uh, I work with uh, with European Commission in in director of Chi. What does trade defense mean? It means that you make sure that people play by the rules. And where you cannot ensure that through negotiation, through dialogue, you must be able to take autonomous measures in order to level the playing field. Nous, nous avons un système euh, très équilibré euh, d'utilisation des instruments de protection, très encadré, euh, sur la base d'une pratique constante, euh, qui est basée essentiellement sur des plaintes, des plaintes qui doivent être motivées, et, et, et c'est à ce titre que nous utilisons euh, euh, ces instruments. We are not against imports because they are cheap. That is not our issue. We are, we are trying to act against, or we are acting against imports that are dumped or subsidized. The anti-dumping instrument looks at dumped imports. And the definition of dumping is, or a product is dumped, if, a, if an exporter sells this product in a foreign market below the cost of production in significant quantities. Or if the exporter sells its product at a price which is lower than the, high, than the whole market price. We cannot live without production in Europe. We cannot put all the production in another country. Today, I think all the people understand the benefits of these anti-dumping measures. My name is Marcel Souza from Mat Ceramica from Portugal. We are a tableware ceramic factory. We employ more than 500 workers. We export all our production. Our main market is the European market. In 2005, we have a, a new competition from China. We lose sales, we lose the market share. The unfair competition from China was not possible for us. And in 2007, we decided to make an anti-dumping process. In 2012, we present the case to the Commission. It was after the measures we win again the market share and the Chinese reduce the market share. So this kind of policy uh, have a huge impact in the positive or in, in the negative way. In 2005, it was a negative way. In 2013, it was in a positive way. We've seen that there are especially state capitalist systems that tend to subsidize their industries, uh, leading to distortions of competition, to global overcapacity, which is to the detriment of everyone. Anti-subsidy measures are there to level that playing field. Nos instruments de défense commerciale face aux subventions des pays tiers sont limités, puisque l'instrument anti-subvention que nous avons classique, il n'est ne, efficace que si nous importons ces produits subventionnés sur le marché européen. These investigations are more difficult because you need also the cooperation of a government of a third country and you need to have a lot of details and a lot of idea about policies that are in place while a dumping investigation is quite clean and quite economic. A product is subsidized if it benefits from a financial contribution by the government. If that financial contribution gives a benefit to the company and if a financial contribution is specific. If a government, for instance, uh, gives land to a company or, 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 or creates a, a motorway extension to it for, specifically for a company, that would be specific. A safeguard measure is there in order to adjust to a new situation. And this new situation results from a sudden sharp increase of imports that harms the industry and that is probably not going away. And so a safeguard measure is there to, to give uh, the industry and the importing country a bit of briefing space, a bit of space to adjust, so that they can later on function without any protection in the new circumstances. Trade defense is essential because only if you are able to say, 
I have the tools to prevent openness from being abused. Will you be able to maintain the openness we depend on and which we want?